What is up guys, just a show here, and today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to fix the Elgato depixelation issue on your actual recordings. Now if you do not know what I'm talking about, here's a quick little clip. You notice how the actual pixels start to depixelate and the picture on the actual video starts to deform or starts to get glitchy. That is what depixelation is, and today I'm going to be showing you how to actually fix that. And let's go ahead and go to the actual Elgato software itself, where I will explain what the settings will be and everything else, alright? So I'll see you there. Alright guys, so here we are on the Elgato recording software, and right away you can see that I have my preview turned off. And the reason for that is, it actually causes a lag for my recording software, so I kind of had to turn it off a bit. However, <coughs> you also have to turn off the preview anyway, because it does cause some actual depixelation. But I'm going to tell you before I actually start messing with the settings and stuff like that, I'm going to actually state my reasons as to why I actually thought the problem was as to why the videos were getting depixelated and maybe you can connect it with your videos and whatnot and you can pretty much decide whether you're having the same problems as I am or whatever, right? So the first thing that I thought was the actual timeline was actually not matching up with the preview and apparently that wasn't the case because <coughs> it didn't actually started to show out when I turned off the preview so that wasn't the case and then I also thought it was because of the three minute I mean not three minute but three second delay but that wasn't the case either way um so eventually I turned it down to two things alright either the Elgato is getting overheated because you do have to keep it in a cold environment and you have to take care of your Elgato or the actual um, <coughs> settings are not set up correctly you have to make sure that you're actually recording on your proper resolution whether it be 720p or 1080p so make sure that you're actually recording properly with the actual resolutions right the reason why I'm doing this video is because people have you know this problems okay they, they have the same problems when they get the Elgato first for the first time so hopefully this helps you out All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into the settings alright so like I said first you wanna turn off your preview because you don't need the preview anyway alright it, it's stupid so just turn it off alright then you wanna go to the settings right here and here you wanna turn off or uncheck these two settings you don't need them they will slow down your computer dramatically now <coughs> You can choose to turn off the flashback recording if you want. I'm not sure if you're one of those people that would like to record something you miss, especially if you're playing Call of Duty. You may just use the feeder mode on Call of Duty, however some Call of Duty games don't have a feeder mode, so yeah, but <coughs> you can turn it off because it is actually slowing down your recording there and it's just slowing down the power for the Elgato recording software so you can go ahead and turn those off if you don't want to then you don't have to but just remember that it will have an effect on your actual recording which will cause it to actually depixelate and something like that so yeah which is why I actually have them turned off right then you can go to sharing here turn off the always convert new videos to mp4 files what that does is actually it will convert it straight away after you're done recording it will actually automatically convert it to <coughs> an mp4 file that puts a lot of stress on the Elgato software so you might as well just turn that off or uncheck it. You can also uncheck this if it's actually checked the box at the top where it says use 1080p for iPad and Apple stuff like that and pretty much uncheck anything down here that you think is not really relatable to the problem or useful for the Elgato software also check for updates because if you do not have the latest version for the Elgato recording software that might also be the problem the Elgato that you currently have may not be compatible with the um, recording or something like that and it might cause the video to depixelate all right you don't really need anything from the hotkeys the just shortcuts and stuff like that and from the bands you don't really have to like mess with anything I have mines on highest quality but you don't really have to if you feel you know like it's better then go ahead and just put it on best performance but I have mine on highest quality alright you don't really have to mess with anything else down here now everyone's settings are different but if you would like you can copy mine just go ahead and pause the video you can go ahead and copy my settings if you would like but I don't really think it's gonna be the same because everyone's settings are different alright so once we're down here just click OK or whatever then exit that out then we'll go to the one down here by the capture card icon wait till that opens up alright and here we go 
I have mines on best, the quality will be on best. Then down here where it says profile, I have mines on 720. I record on 720. My computer or my recording software cannot handle 1080p, which is why I recorded it. Alright, and I have my HDMI color range on expanded. Now I am not quite sure whether it will work for you, so make sure you try the standard. Always try to mess around with these settings because these settings will not always work for you. Alright, so just make sure that your, your settings are set correctly basically All right. and you can pretty much just turn off this stretch standard definition as well if it's not working for you when it's checked just test out these settings for you and make sure that they work for you All right. now don't mess around with this picture you don't really need it I mean it doesn't really help if you want to increase it the brightness then go ahead but it, it doesn't really help alright so don't mess around with that <coughs> the audio that also doesn't help so you don't really need to like mess around with it or whatever profiles don't mess with that and pretty much anything here is just don't mess with it the only thing you really have to focus are the captures right here the quality and pretty much these two boxes down here all right so once you've actually done that you're pretty much done all right if you're live streaming then you're obviously going to change this right here which is the live streaming mbps ps or whatever you want to call it but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this <coughs> setup right here so go ahead change your settings make sure that they work for you if they do not work for you right away then that just means that there's something wrong with your settings and pretty much just try to hit you know try to go ahead and tweak around with them until you actually find the proper settings for you all right another issue that might cause depistillation will have to be the cables of the Elgato make sure that they're actually in place properly if not, then take them out and place them back again. Make sure that your agado stays clean and your work area also stays clean. And then another one will also be your PC itself. If your PC is sort of glitchy, then it will also affect the Elgato program, making your videos start to depixelate and pretty much just glitch all over the place. Also, make sure that if you get lag on the game, you got to, you know, you have to like check that out because if you do get lag on the game you will also have the pixelation on your video so yeah hopefully this video actually helped you guys let me know down below in the comments if this was actually the problem that you had and i am surprised that youtubers out there haven't actually you know noticed this problem being that it is actually an big problem where people actually get the Elgato so yeah I'm kinda surprised that actual youtubers out there haven't actually notified this problem but yeah guys let me know if this actually fixed it for you guys let me know that <coughs> the settings work for you and stuff like that and I'll see you guys next time please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and bye